I call this the beginner bar chord as well. So instead of doing this, I could do... What's up guys, it's your boy TikTok Guitarist 1. In today's video, we're going to be doing some more funky chords in a funky key. So don't let me lose your time. So, priority of this lesson is to get you guys comfortable with more beginner guitar chord shapes that can be used as beginner bar chords. So if I take a C major 7, I slide it up, I've got C sharp major 7. If I slide it up again, D major 7. So just by sliding, I'm in a different key. I want to make... Am I even making sense? So what I want to do is show you guys easy beginner guitar chord shapes, which you guys can use to do exactly the same thing. So the chord shape we're doing today is a major seven sus two. So this is an F major seven sus two. If I slide it up, F sharp major seven sus two. Slide it up one more time, G major seven sus two. So I want to get you guys comfortable in being able to play in all 12 keys with ease. So for this first chord, we're doing an F sharp major seven. So an easy way to work out what the root note is when you're playing chords on the D string is to do the formula of go up to the E string. So then slide down to frets and that will give you the root and that will work for any key. They will always be an octave apart. So, for this chord, the F sharp major, major seven sus two, my index finger is on the D string fourth fret. My ring finger is on the G string sixth fret. My pinky is on the B string sixth fret. And my middle finger is on the high E string fourth fret. And one thing to add, because we're playing on the higher notes or the thinner strings, it is going to be a bit tolling on your fingers. I don't know if that's shown in my fingers are focusing, if you can kind of see like the indent, especially because I'm on steel strings. So this is something also to factor in as well. When getting comfortable with these kind of chord shapes um, on the higher strings, they are thinner, so they will hurt more. So just allow yourself a bit of grace when playing these chords. So we've got the F sharp major seven, sus two. Then we're going to a G sharp, I guess, major. Um, so for this chord, my ring finger is on the D string sixth fret. My ring finger is on the G string fifth fret. My index finger is on the B string fourth fret. And my middle finger is on the high E string fourth fret as well. can see I'm just plucking with my thumb, index, middle, ring. And then the final chord would be a C sharp major seven sus two, which is the same shape as what we've done for our first chord. So we're taking the F sharp major seven sus two and we're sliding that all the way to 11th fret. Bruh. Ooh, if I can strum the right string. So, my index finger is now on the 11th fret D string. My middle finger, my ring finger is on the 13th fret G string. My pinky is on the B string 13th fret. And my middle finger is on the high E string 11th fret. And then final chord, you just slide back to your F sharp uh, major seven sus two. Man, that's a mouthful. I say it. Hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. So, I'll 
quickly run through all those chords slowly so you guys can pick it up. Two, three, four. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick guitar lesson. And actually, before you go, I'll just show you a quick bonus chord. I won't break it down, I'll just put the tab up there. And maybe it's something we can explore in the next guitar lesson. So, instead of doing this, I could do. Then continue as normal. Then I could do the major seven chord shape, which I've done in multiple previous videos. I call this the beginner bar chord as well. Then I could even finish on this chord shape as well. So it's just about mixing it up, having different variations, having knowledge of different chord shapes which you can use at your disposal. So I hope you guys enjoyed that lesson. If there's any chords or keys you want me to do, tutorials, any songs you want me to break down for beginners, comment them down below and I'll get them done. But remember, we're playing basic chords and I'll catch you in the next one.